All I want you to do is four lines, and you have, and you can't do five. If you do five, it's wrong. Exactly four lines. Okay. And it doesn't matter if they're wrong. Now, what I want you to do is set up the page like this: a line and half, a very faint line here, and you know. So what you've done is subdivided, right? So I want you to do one. Two, three, four. So the trick to it is head, then you go down the center line or the spine, then you go from, you're looking for the hip bone internally, down the weight bearing leg to the ground, and then a foot. So you know that we're, so you know where the ground is, right? With an angle, do the same thing. One, two, three, four. Okay. Pretty simple. So what you're doing is you're laying out the you're laying out the skeleton. You're just trying to figure out the flow. Of yes. Body. Exactly. And you're figuring out several things at once. You're figuring out proportions, right? You're figuring out balance from the crown of the head to the foot, right? You're figuring out where the spine is and how the weight goes, right? So there's a lot of things going on in four lines. And if you can do these correctly, everything else will kind of lay on top of this and preserve sort of the, the energy of the pose, right? So, you do head, right? Then you have the center line, leg. Every time you're gonna start with this, with the same process. Here you can start to put in the other leg if you want. Then you go rib cage. <coughs> Pose. So this is your connection to what we were doing, the structured drawing, right? Cylinders, box forms, and so on. So notice the tilt of the head, right? The spine, where does it start? Uh, back of the spine. Right here, right there. Yeah, so just making sure. So center line, coming down, leg. It's got the weight. Other leg. Rib cage. If you actually want to include a little bit of that, that's fine too. That's it. Okay. Angle of the head, right? You're looking for stuff that is, you know, not straight up and down, right? Back leg. Front leg. Rib cage. Pelvis. Then you can, to check yourself, you can always make sure, you know, angle of the pelvis, angle of the rib cage. Four lines and the three major masses, right? Okay, that's, what, that's good right there. So, you're trying to capture the tilt of the head, right? So you get the tilt. Then you have the center line to deal with, so you have a little bit of neck, center line. Right? Then weight bearing leg, again, boom. Foot. Free leg, 
going back in space. Okay, so notice you can check yourself here, do the ramrod rib cage. Smaller than you think it should be, but not too small. Then if you need to split it, you can split it, right? Make it a little more anatomically correct. Pelvis around. Then you can get into things like arms if you want. Don't worry too much about hands. You have the shoulders, right? Now, to connect the forms, the bean is the all important connecting factor because that expresses overlap very quickly, right? So you take your rib cage, continue it down, and you'll see that it builds out to the pelvis, right? Clothes help with this too, actually. For legs, you can wrap lines around the ankles and the knee. Right? Okay, so now we're building out, we're building the forms. The head, you know, you can wrap lines around that, both directions. So you be begin to build out and understand kind of like the more of the anatomy. So on a twisty pose, you have head, spine. And you have these kind of split weights. So it's boom. Rib cage. Same process every time. No deviation. Right? Then you can build out the leg, use the jeans for overlap or whatever. Dude could lift a car. And you can build out to the shoulder, right? And you can use the t-shirt to help you build the arm. This is the connection between what we did way back, structure, right? The stuff we did at the beginning even with landscape, we're still working on, on this idea, right? So you have, you know, your head divided with axes running around them. You know, you have legs, which are basically just cylinders that usually go like that, right, or cones. You have the pelvis, which you can kind of do a wider cylinder, or you can kind of box it out a little bit mix those. Okay. The rib cage with your egg form. Split. Right? 